up to June now, so sardine season, and I'd like to show you a couple of traces that I use for it. First of all, the easiest one, when the sardines are out of reach, or just within casting reach, is a jig and drop trace. Now, for that, what we require is some 1mm nylon, a 3.0, 5 extra strong, because you never know what you're going to hook, 3-way power swivel, 6 ounce, 7 ounce pair sinker. You want a sinker that you can throw long distance and has very little resistance when you actually pull on it. Our fish mate, nylon coated wire, 120 pounds just in case there's a toothy critter around. And basically this is what I'm going to be showing you to make. To make it, very simple, take some nylon and your swivel would be attached to the top of this, so let's start with that. Let's open this up. Very simply, the big side or the big eye goes to your leader, the bottom will go to your sinker. And the one on the side here, and this is why we do it, normally if I was fishing with a bait, I'd be attaching this one to my sinker. But jig and drop trace works totally different. We want the line to come off with the actual treble on the side of it. So we're just going to put on the, our sinker line first. And all we've done is just a figure of eight. Pull tight, I'm happy to do that. Not too long, about 30 to 40 centimeters of nylon, and again, just a figure of eight. Slide down, pull tight. Trim off all the tag ends. Need enough. So basically, what I've got six ounce sinker and my little power swivel. Now, coming off of it to do the actual trace part, nylon coated 120 pound. I'm just going to grab a, a little bit off of it quickly. Okay, very simply, straight through, and again, keep it simple, figure of eight. One, twice, open it up, form the figure of eight, there's a figure of eight, I just want to get a pair of pliers, put your fingers inside it, you see these two fingers, and what we do is pull it tight, and I'm just going to hold onto it as best as I can, <coughs> lubricate, and just slide that down. Can move around a bit, doesn't really make a difference. Side cutters, cut it off, but give it quite a bit of tag in there. It'll make the wire about 20 to 30 centimeters in length. I'm going to make it actually a little bit longer just so I can cut it off. Take my one mil nylon, it's just going to give it a bit more movement. Two, three times with the nylon. Let me just open it up like that. There's your figure of eight. I'm now going to do the wire, and again, I'll just reverse everything. Wire twice. Once, twice, straight through, open up, and form a figure of eight. Okay. Slide the nylon down a bit. And try not to hook yourself. Don't pull the wire too tight, I'm just pulling it to form that figure of 80 and tighten it up slightly. Lubricate with a bit of saliva. Now, find something that you can pull on. I'm just going to use the end of that. You see it's starting to pull very nice and tight there. And again, I'm just going to pull tight on the wire. And you see how nicely it's pulled over there. 
And again, just pull it again with the nylon. Until the whole thing is tight, which I'm very happy with. Snip the nylon off. Cut the tag end of the wire off. And again, give yourself a little bit of wire here to play with, just in case it pulls tight on a fish. And you're going to give yourself about the same length. Just ever so slightly shorter. Okay, so I'm happy to cut it there. Okay. I now take my nylon, go through the eye of the power swivel, and attach with a figure of eight. Once, twice, three times. Let me just open it up there to form that figure of eight. Give me a bit of hard time this one. There we go. Okay, so basically you've got a little bit of nylon, about 25 to 30 centimeters of 120 pound nylon coated wire and our pair sinker. Now what we do with this is actually just take it as is. When you see that big black mass of sardines out there 120, 130 meters away, you throw into them and as you hit, you take up the slack and you hit and you should find feel a little bit of a vibration on it if you've jigged basically that's what we're doing if you jigged one of the sardines and it will actually go down the sinker will pull the sardine down below the shoal of um, sardines and if there's a game fish around you know the game fish will always feed underneath them chase them to the surface you should go away sometimes you get a diamond sometimes you get a honeycomb you can get any you don't actually know what you're going to hook 99% of the time. So if there's a cooter around, at least you've got a chance with a bit of wire. If there's a skater around, you can still hook him. But most of the times it's going to be a shark, a bronze whaler, grey shark, blackfoot. That's why we use the actual wire. And it's soft and supple, so if you do get, for instance, a kingfish coming along, GT, you'll inhale the whole thing and swim off with it and you just hit and hold and hope for the best. And that's a simple jig and drop trace. If you look here, we sell them already pre-made, two in an actual um, packet, and that's one of those easy ways to go about purchasing it. Because sometimes those treble hooks could get you in the hand, in the fingers, you see how difficult it is to actually make. But that's it there. Very quick, very easy. Saltwater sports trace, buy them in any tackle store, and that's it. Guys, good luck.